Floyd Skernan Kelly has developed a reputation for being one of the best with regard to DUI representation. We've developed that reputation because we're not afraid to fight and fight and fight. And we fight to get the person the best possible result in the case. We have about 60 attorneys in 13 offices throughout the state. In the criminal defense group, we have about 10 attorneys. And the great thing about Floyd, Skern, and Kelly, specifically in our criminal defense group, is that we have attorneys with all kinds of backgrounds. We have former police officers, former district attorneys, former lifelong public defenders. It's our opinion that by having people with all types of diverse backgrounds looking at a case, we're able to get the best possible result because obviously 10 heads are better than one. And so the more people that are looking at it with all types of their backgrounds and perspectives, we're able to get better results for our clients. There are so many defense attorneys, so many attorneys that call themselves DUI defense attorneys that really just go in, hold their clients' hands, and plead them guilty. They don't know how to look over a police report from the perspective of somebody who's written police reports. We have former police officers who have been there on the beat, have done DUI investigations, have conducted DUI arrests, have conducted the field sobriety tests, and we're able to use that experience to pick apart the reports and to exploit any of the mistakes that the prosecutor has made, that the police have made, to get the best possible result for our clients. When a prosecutor sees us coming into court, they know that we mean business. They know that we're not afraid to go to trial and we're not afraid of them. We're gonna leave no stone unturned. We're gonna demand every piece of evidence through the discovery process. We're gonna demand that every single piece of evidence is turned over. I wanna know what the calibration records were for that breath testing device. I wanna know what the calibration records were on that blood testing device. Just because I get a piece of paper with a number that is above a .08, I don't take that for granted. I want to make them prove it. 